Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to look at number 11 on the elementary 53 math MTEL. Um, before we even flip to the problem, I'm going to look at it right now with you. And you're looking at it and you see this diagram, right? And you see the question and then you see the answer. What sticks out for me right away is I see absolute value signs. So that's a core idea that even before reading the problem and getting into it, you could look at the answers and you could definitely get a sense that, hey, this problem might have something to do, maybe, possibly, hypothetically, with absolute value. So now let's take a closer look. Number 11. Use the number line below to answer the question that follows. Gives us this number line. It's got A, it's got B, it's got D, it's got 0, okay, 1, negative 1. Which of the following expressions represents the length of the line segment D? Okay, so we're trying to find the length of D here. And then it gives us these values here. This is much more of a classic MTEL problem. It doesn't ask you to solve the problem. It asks you to find the expression that if you wanted to, you could go the extra step and solve it. It's not asking you to solve it. It's just asking you to come up with the expression that would solve it. And that's actually a much harder thing to do than coming up with an answer. One thing to just to address this is how to deal with absolute value. So, so let's say we're talking about we want to find the absolute value of negative 1. The absolute value measures the distance a point is from 0. So negative 1 is approximately 1 unit from 0. So we'd say the absolute value of, one, of negative 1 is 1. What about the absolute value of 1? Well, again, absolute value has, is not dealing with negative numbers. It's just dealing with the, the measurement of that number, that value, from 0. So it's exactly 1 unit away from 0, so we'd say 1. Now let's think about the problem. Well, it gives me this a and b, and I'm trying to solve for d. The best thing to do is to make this problem concrete. What's a concrete value for b and a that would make sense? Well, it looks like b could be negative 2, and it looks like a could be positive 2. And I think that's, I think that's helpful, because if you said b was negative 2 and you know a was positive 2, then I don't think it's hard to say, hey, what, that's 2 units away, and that's 2 units away, so guess what? d is 4. But let's see how you would use, you know, you substitute in, you substitute in two concrete numbers, and then you're going to solve. What's the absolute value of um, positive 2? I'll just do 2 plus a negative 2. And what's the absolute value of, again, positive 2 plus the absolute value of a negative 2? And, the, and then this is just 2 plus the negative 2. And this is, what, the, again, absolute value of 2 minus the absolute value of a negative 2. I do this problem a lot with teachers, and about half the time, a mistake is made with the signs of the numbers. 2 plus a negative 2, that's like 2 minus 2. That would get you 0. So the absolute value of 0 is just 0. This would be 2. The absolute value of 2 is just 2. Plus the absolute value of 2, negative 2 is 2. It's a positive 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4 which is actually the correct answer here. Well, what about these? 2 plus a negative 2, again, you're adding a negative 2 to 2. It's just 0. <clears throat> now, the absolute value of negative 2 is 2, but then you're subtracting that from 2 here, so you're getting to 0. The answer here is b. In this case right here, b is going to get you to the value of d. All right? Try this. Let me know what you think. If you need help, check out one of the MTEL Math workshops or go to the GoMath website and uh, you can call GoMath for help with uh, tutoring. Thanks so much team for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team. I wanted to uh, encourage everyone if you have time to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math.
It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.